Now, the official Sun Coast weather with ABC7 meteorologist John Scalzi. Current conditions outside, a nice 75 degrees with a dew point of 57. Southwest wind coming in at about 8 under full sunshine out there. It's a big, beautiful blue sky with high pressure firmly in control of our weather patterns. We have across the region 79 degrees in Wachula, 77 in Arcadia, Mayaca, 75 Lakewood Ranch. Parish at 76, so is Bradenton. As I mentioned, Sarasota at 75. A little cooler at Longboat with that onshore breeze. So too in Venice at 72, 71 in Inglewood. 77 in Punta Gorda and 74 in Northport. They had a little bit of fog around there this morning. Could have some around there tomorrow morning as well. I think our dew points will be up into the 60s before it's all said and done today, especially with that little onshore flow of air. Well, as you look at the satellite view, obviously your eye is drawn immediately to that cluster of clouds back to the west. That's a cold front and it's producing some very heavy rainfall across the Louisiana Delta region, wrapping up around a low pressure area and moving off to the north and to the east. It's the same system that brought all the freezing rain to parts of the midsection of the country now exiting out of the northeast. We also have a secondary system and a third system not yet impacting the United States, but certainly about to bring California another round of heavy rain. This has really been drought busting rain for them, so it's really great to see actually, although they can do without the heavy amounts of rainfall in a short period of time, which has led to their flooding issues. Now, this system is one that we're going to be watching for the potential impact of perhaps some stronger storms around here on Sunday. But before then, we're going to watch this system, which moves off to the north and to the east, and this low pressure area and frontal boundary approach the peninsula of Florida, bringing some possibly heavy storminess to North Florida, particularly, I think. Severe Storms Prediction Center puts a, a slight risk of severe storms for North Florida and part of the Big Bend over the course of the next 48 hours. High pressure will eventually have to give way. It'll be chipped away, actually, by these little frontal boundaries moving through. And then the next front, exiting out of the Rockies, redeveloping along the Gulf, and then drifting in our direction, promise us a chance at seeing some stronger storms for our area as we move into Sunday afternoon, I think. There's even a slight potential for some rotating storms and maybe isolated tornadoes, particularly in north central Florida's coastline. But we have to allow for the possibility that it may be for us as well. So we're going to have to monitor the storm system carefully as it evolves. Could well be that it's strictly a North Florida event, but it's too early to tell, and it does have potential to pose a risk for us here on the Sun Coast Sunday, especially the second half of Sunday. Humidity rising this afternoon, dry skies, and then we watch those Sunday storms. Those are your weather highlights. Now, for Saturday, there's the severe storm risk. Uh, as you go beyond Saturday, certainly the forecasts become a little iffier, but the projected long-term forecast does slide that risk down the coast closer to us with about a 15 to 30 percent chance of severe weather for the Sun Coast on Sunday. But certainly for the first half of the weekend, we look pretty good without too much of a thunderstorm risk as the first system kind of just fizzles out as it moves down the coastline. But then we wait for that second system, which will perhaps, perhaps have a little bit more energy down into Gulf waters as it sinks southward. Too early to tell, but we'll keep an eye on it. Forecast for today looks nice. We have out on open waters, south wind coming in at 5 to 10. That starts us with smooth conditions, builds us to a light chop later this afternoon. And the forecast over the next several days, nice through, I'd say, Sunday morning. And then things will kind of deteriorate pretty rapidly Sunday afternoon into the evening and through Monday morning. We'll be keeping an eye on that very carefully, Scott.